this is Jerry Shepard, the Bug Doctor, and you're in another Bug Doctor Minute. Today I wanted to take a minute and talk about tubes in the slab. I get a lot of questions on my uh, Ask the Bug Doctor tab of PestCemetery.com about tubes in the slab and also tubes in the wall. So today I thought I'd take a few minutes and explain about tubes in the slab. What tubes in the slab is, is a liquid delivery system that can work long after the home has been built and still get that termitocide deep underneath the slab where it wouldn't be so accessible. Sure, you could use a hammer drill and um, uh, get through the cement that way and get your uh, chemical around the uh, control points, but there's always a chance of hitting a pipe, and in today's homes there's fancy flooring like tiles and laminates and things like that, so a hammer drill really doesn't fit real well in that scenario. What tubes is in the slab does is basically they run tubes up under the slab before the home is built, before it's poured. And they'll set them out to, uh, to the side where this will be the delivery area. And then they run them up underneath the cement. Now, the red tubes here are not the tubes that deliver any termitocide. It's a myth that uh, these tubes will spray it all up underneath the slab. No, they're just going for the control areas only, much like tubes in the wall. You can see that the uh, trunk tubes go off in a couple of different directions right here. And then you can see this yellow tube. That's the delivery tube. That one will have the tiny little slits where the, when the liquid comes through these red tubes and hits the delivery tube, this is where the liquid comes out. And it's going to come out around those control points, any plumbing areas or vulnerable expansion joints or wherever the technician feels uh, is necessary to uh, deliver termitocide at a later date. Here's uh, one going completely around the plumbing area. So that's going to be all encased in cement, but years from now, 10 years, however long, you can still get termitocide in that area by shooting the tubes. So here's another area where this will probably be a big old garden tub, very difficult to get to even if you did have a hammer drill because the tub just takes up so much of the wall and you can't get... Um, in there you'd need a, a heck of a drill bit and then you can see there's all sorts of pipes and things like that and hitting those might be more of a problem than the termites themselves if you look real close let me zoom in here a little bit you can see the yellow tubes going around the area and they're going to deliver the termi termiticide later to stop any termites or to uh, give us that continued barrier here's a great picture of how the tubes go and uh, deliver. You can see the trunk all going all the way across. It's not going to be affected by the cement or anything and then again hitting those control points. Now they put the termitocide in at low pressure in a portal much like this and there's no standard delivery system that I've seen. It's all pretty much homemade even by the companies that put this stuff together. So uh, most companies, what they'll do is go to Lowe's or Home Depot and uh, make a, a delivery system of their own. This little simple system allows each tube to be shot at the same time, shooting the termiticide in at a low pressure, about 20 psi, and you run that for probably uh, 10 minutes or so just to give a nice soaking. You can put a, a meter on the end of your hose to tell you how much liquid's going out, but since it's going to different ones at different locations, that's going to be difficult to do the math and figure out you're getting uh, four gallons per 10 square feet or whatever. So it's kind of a judgment call, but that's just how tubes in the slab is, and um, a lot like tubes in the wall. You're um, putting it into the unknown, yes, but it's going to be encapsulated and it's going to be... Um, real safe. It's not going to come out and leach out or anything. So it's a great way to get termiticide into the depth of a home up underneath the slab and stop the termites years after the slab has been poured and there's no access under the house. So I hope uh, this enlightens you a little bit. This has been Jerry Shepard with www.pestcemetery.com. Make sure you stop by, sign up for my newsletter, and uh, I'll be chatting with you from time to time. And come on back as soon as possible, and hopefully we'll have another Bug Doctor Minute for you. Thank you.